What's going on YouTube? My name is Michael Mitchell, aka Dollar Mike, back at it again with another video. And let's talk about the recent fluctuations in the stock market thanks to the coronavirus. Let's get right into it. So if you guys didn't notice last week, if you're invested in basically almost anything, um, the stock market crash. It crashed because of the coronavirus. The coronavirus is a form of the SARS virus that was going around years ago. It's coming back. It's in a different form now, and they don't have a cure for it currently. That is the reason the stock market crashed. People are people have fears because the coronavirus is spreading all around the world. It's spreading at a decent rate. It's, I mean, you might think it's fast, but it's still more deaths from the flu than it is coronavirus. So it's not that big of a deal, but it is a big of a deal in the sense that we don't really know how to stop it currently so that puts fear in people that fear makes people sell their stocks especially when they see all their favorite companies just falling like crazy it's not the best thing to do but people do it that's their 401ks their retirements all that kind of stuff they need that money so you know playing it safe they're going to go ahead and take that money out it might not be the best interest which it wasn't because the stock market actually just went back up with a great snapback probably the highest snapback that we've had since 2009 today so literally i kind of made some posts about this earlier uh earlier over the weekend and kind of a little bit last week i was just telling my friends and whatnot that basically the main thing i'm saying is investing involves risk if you're not willing to take risks when it comes to investing your money then you can still make plenty of money you can still make enough money to take care of yourself or do whatever you need to do depends on how much you're investing it also depends on what you're invested in but if you want to take those bigger risks and make a lot more money or just do a lot more when it comes to investing it doesn't have to be just the stock market it can be real estate or classic cars or comic books or trading cards or anything else you want to invest in where you know you can get a return on your money from what you started with then go ahead and do that but all that everything involves risk if you're not willing to take those risks you could be hurt and if you are willing to take those risks but you're not really prepared to take those risks then you still could be hurt in the situation of the coronavirus and the situation of last week simply put people had fear that fear fueled them to sell those stocks that they had and therefore we come to where we are now essentially where the stock market was down last week by a thousand points in a single day and was continued to go down throughout that entire week and didn't actually bounce back with the greatest bounce back today monday what day is this monday march 2nd so i thought about making a video about this last week but really i was like let's just see how this plays out i don't think it's going to be a super long-term thing i mean people you know people get afraid of viruses and crazy stuff that happens all the time it's like whatever but I just want to see how how long it would really last if it if it kept dropping this week then i would have been surprised and i would have definitely made a video but regardless i'm making a video now all in all this is a really quick video i just kind of wanted to get this point across because i mentioned it on my social media i didn't bring it up on youtube because obviously i didn't make a video on it until now but here we go so just like you guys last week i was down across nearly all of my investments there was one of my investments or a kind of a group of my investments that were steadily going up while the stock market was just tearing itself apart and i'm going to share that with you in the future so stay tuned for that another thing to remember is that you only lose the money in the stock market that you withdraw so if you put a thousand dollars in last week and then you lost half of it and you're only at 500 now you not you're not actually losing out 500 dollars until you actually take that money out of the stock market and put it back in your bank account if you keep that money in the stock market and watch it grow back up to 1200 dollars then guess what you made 200 dollars so don't panic don't sell immediately if you're invested into a stock you do your research you know what's going on with your stock it's no really reason for you not to know when it's about to go down sometimes it still does happen but in the event that it does just make sure you do even more research to find out why it's really going down and find out if it will continue to go down or if that's in your best interest to keep the stock and wait for it to come back up after maybe five ten years who knows or go ahead and sell it and just take the loss another thing to remember is that the market will correct itself i'm talking about the stock market not the supermarket obviously it will correct itself history has shown that i can pull up a whole graph of the entire stock market obviously it's gone down it's gone way down before and it's gone right, right back up and it's gone higher than what it's gone before so over history the stock market always corrected itself it always went to a new higher peak so it could be down now for you it could be down now for you by 50 percent. i really don't know 
that sucks but like I said before, if you have the time to wait, it will go back up. I can pretty much almost guarantee it. As I mentioned before about doing your research, please understand what you're invested in. It doesn't take long to research a company, find out what they're all about, find out what they have on their, I guess their future plan or whatever, what they got going for them, what could possibly go wrong in their plan. For instance, if you're invested in some type of medical field or something like that, maybe they have a new type of drug they wanna put in the market, but they're not passing their clinical test. If they're not passing their clinical test, then you probably shouldn't be invested in them because they're probably not going to do well when it comes to their clinical trials that makes a lot of sense doesn't it so if they're not going to do well in their clinical trials who's going to invest in them nobody they're going to take their money out and go elsewhere and invest in a company that knows what they're doing so do your research if you do your research you'll know when these sort of things will come up and you can probably get out at a good time at a great time or just at a time where you won't lose 100% of your money. And my last little small tip is to invest more money when the stock market goes down like this because guess what? If you don't have any worries about that money right now, you invest it now when the stock is a little bit lower than what you normally buy it at and then when it goes up, guess what? You made your profit more than what you would normally make because the stock market is down and you sell it and there you go, that's your profit. But obviously you should only invest in what you can afford. If you cannot afford to put a thousand dollars ten thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars in the stock market and i'm pretty sure if you have a hundred thousand dollars going into the stock market you're probably not watching this video of me talking about it i think this is more of a beginner kind of stock market kind of video not really like a pro level i'm pretty sure you're not watching me but hey if you are you know i'm just saying like a hundred thousand dollars like if you really don't you know you can't really afford to put a hundred thousand dollars in but you do have a hundred thousand dollars don't really do that you know i'm not a financial advisor i'm not really giving you financial advice it's just my personal opinion but listen i don't think that's my that's not the best thing to do so try not to do that but that's kind of it so if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit it with a like button if you have any questions make sure you leave those questions down below in the comment section i'm sure you'll probably have plenty just let me know down in the comment section i read all the comments i try to reply to all the comments depending on which video it is because some of my videos have like tons of comments and it's just like hey you know, like, I mean, but I'll still try to reply to all the comments. Obviously, with newer videos, I'm more focused on those than the older ones. But yeah, so comments down below. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you don't like it. It is what it is. Um, I make videos all about saving money, credit, budgeting, investing, stock market, retirement, everything, personal finance. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Like I just mentioned before, that's kind of it. My name is Dollar Mike, a.k.a. Michael Mitchell. I'm out. Dollar Mike. Peace.